Now to a KWWL special report. Sex education is a common course in our public school system, but for parents, students, and teachers alike, it can be a subject that some find hard to talk about. Reporter Ashley Scott tells us what our sex education courses currently look like and what changes some groups want to see. Now, early childhood educators agree that having age-appropriate conversations about sex with our children is important for their healthy development. I'm like, let's just get it out of the way. Let's just talk about it right now. Iowa is one of only 24 states that requires sex education to be taught in school. Also called human growth and development, the course covers reproductive anatomy, puberty, and sexually transmitted infections, and is typically taught from 6th through 10th grades. And they really start to ask questions in the appropriate terminology the right way, and I try to be safe about it in that I have them write them down on pieces of paper and they hand them in so no one knows who's asking what questions. While the law requires the course to be medically accurate, there are no guidelines as to what specifically those lessons must include. The issue of consent or contraceptives might be addressed in some schools or skipped altogether in favor of encouraging abstinence. What the studies show is that uh, states that have comprehensive evidence-based programs in place they have lower teen pregnancy rates, lower sexually transmitted infection rates, and their onset of sexual activity is later. Some medical professionals say that's alarming. Every state is different in what they have, what the law states. So, you know, there's just no consistency. Others argue teaching about the physical details isn't enough. There's an emotional side as well. It's important to know that. It might feel great and dandy in the moment, but these are what you could feel afterwards. And it could be regret, uh, it could be discomfort, um, maybe you know, being scared. So um, even though it's uncomfortable, your kids already know about a lot of this stuff, more so than parents maybe realize. Mm -hmm. And so you just have to take that step and talk to them about it if you want to ensure that they're getting good information. Haley Young is an outreach educator at Riverview Center. She teaches students how to have healthy relationships. She said students are often getting their information about sex through what they see on TV and from friends. Most of the sex education that I've learned, I've had to do research on my own or, you know, I, I teach, I've taught friends the stuff I've learned and vice versa. Educators simply want students to feel comfortable and prepared before they enter the adult world. I might say, hey, you know what, it's okay to laugh. I'm not going to throw you out of the classroom if you laugh. But I want them to understand that everybody is in that same situation. You're not laughing because it's funny, for the most part. You're laughing because you don't know what is going, how to feel. Now here in Iowa, conversations about contraception and consent are not required. It's up to the school district if they want to include them. And there hasn't been any legislative push to make any changes to the current sex education curriculum. In Dubuque, I'm Ashley Scott, News 7 KWL. Now you might remember back in April, Governor Kim Reynolds signed a health care bill that cut $260,000 from sex education courses provided by Planned Parenthood. Also, we do want to point out that parents do have the option to have their children opt out from taking any sex education courses for any reason. 